Hey everyone, it's book talk number nine. And today's selection, I picked something that's a little bit more serious. Uh, I found it on this site that talks about Project Lit. And that gives you a whole bunch of selections of books that are really culturally relevant, high interest, and usually deal with a struggle that someone has to overcome. Now this one is called Shout by Lori Halls Anderson. And you probably recognize this author's name because we've done two other book talks by her, Speak and Winter Girls, both of which have really serious topics as well. But this one's unique because it is Lori's true story. It's her memoir. And she's finally ready to tell what happened to her and what inspired her to write some of those other books. Um, on the inside cover, I thought it was clever. She wrote, the moment to speak has passed. Now it's time to shout. It's like Lori's telling you that she's finally ready to tell her true story and to give herself a voice. And it's broken into three different parts. And they're all forms of poetry. And I watched an interview with her and someone asked her, why did you decide to do poetry when your other books are just written, you know, like normal storytelling? And she said, when you tell a story like this, you want the reader to feel the emotion. And she said, with poetry, it kind of gives you that punch in the gut and the warm hug you need if you're having some similarities to what she went through. And she said, I just needed it to be told in a way that people could feel it a little bit more. Um, the first part talks about her experience from childhood um, through something really traumatic that happened to her, dealing with sexual assault. And then into adulthood when she was t sharing how she kind of coped with that experience, sometimes in really awful ways. And sometimes she was able to find those things that helped her in positive ways. Um, the dad had PTSD, causing him to be really abusive to the mom. And the mom often remained silent, thinking it was her fault and not speaking up against it, which taught Lori that, you know, maybe having a voice isn't that smart. And Lori finds out later in life that that's not true, that you have to speak up for yourself because that's the only way that change can happen. Um, the second part really deals with other victim stories that have gone through sexual assault and also why it's something that is still happening, um, why it's so prevalent in the world and the fact that it needs to change. And then the third part moves into that activism perspective where she's ready to fight back against it, that she needs people to know that it's not right and it shouldn't happen and that everyone should be able to find their voice. Um, really, really powerful story, but I do have to put a disclaimer out there that it has some very um, serious content in it, graphic content sometimes, and you have to know that before you pick it up so that you're aware that you're going to read some things that might make you feel uncomfortable. Um, but it is something that's changed me and also um, inspires others to find their voice. So go ahead and write in a few sentences if you'd be interested in reading this. And um, we'll see you next time.